to start off, we're going to make a magic ring. So I'm going to wrap it around my finger twice, pop the hook through both those loops, and then pull through the working yarn. Pop it off my finger, chain one, and that's our magic ring. We're then going to work in six single crochets. We're then going to tighten the ring, so we're going to pull the tail end and one of the inner loops should move. That one is the one that we need to pull on, so we pull it tight and then we'll grab the tail end and pull it tight again and that should secure it in place. Once we've done that, we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around to give us 12 single crochets. For the next 8 rounds we're going to be increasing in each single row, so I'll pop down in the description exactly how many stitches you should have per row and how many to increase. Then I'll meet you back when we get to round 10. Once you've finished row 10 it should look something like this and what we're going to do now is put a single crochet in each stitch around for 9 rows. I'm going to pop off camera and do that so I'll meet you when we're finished. And now you've finished your ninth row of single crochets. It should look a little something like this, so it's starting to look more of a bowl shape. I'm going to pop my hook back in and pull my thread up, which is my stitch marker, so that I have more yarn to work with. We're now going to start doing the invisible decrease. So to do that, we pop our hook into the front loop of the stitch and then straight into the next front loop of the next stitch. We yarn over, pull through both of those, and then yarn over and pull through two. Once we've done our invisible decrease, we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches and then repeat that around. So we do an invisible decrease and then a single crochet in each of the next eight stitches and I'll meet you back at the beginning. So when we finished the decrease row, we're going to then decrease and continue to decrease on each row until we have to pop the stuffing in. So the next round will be decrease and then one single crochet in each of the next seven. The next round will then be decrease, one single crochet in each of the next six stitches and then the next round will be a decrease, one single crochet in each of the next five and you continue that until you get to the decrease and one single crochet in each of the next four. finish the round with the decrease and then one single crochet in each of the next four we're going to start working on the stuffing I'm going to grab my plastic bag I'm using just a simple freezer bag and some rice it doesn't have to be brown rice it can be any kind of filling that you'd like you can use sand if you'd like as well but I'm using rice as that's what I have to hand I'm just going to pour in as much as I feel that I need. I'm going to keep weighing it with my just by picking it up and seeing if it feels heavy enough to me. So there's no precise measurements or anything to go by. It's just how heavy you feel that you want yours to be. Now you can keep adding more, you can take some out, so don't be too worried about this. And once you're happy with the weight, simply tie a knot in it and then squeeze out some of the air. 
We're then going to tie another knot just to make sure it's secure. And then pop it inside to make sure it fits. Perfect. Now it's not meant to take up the whole room as we are going to be popping a load of stuffing in there as well. to continue decreasing until we get to the round which is a decrease and then one single crochet in each of the next three that's when we'll start to add the stuffing and the weight Once you get to that round, it should look a little something like this. Once we've got to that round, we're going to start adding the stuffing. And I like to tear mine up a little bit just to make it a bit more fluffy. So you can do that, but you don't necessarily have to. So just pop in a load of stuffing and make sure it's, it's fairly padded. Once we've added the padding, we're then going to pop a little hole in the middle and make a little hole in there, which is where we're going to put our weight for our rice. So it may be a little bit of a squeeze, but you'll be able to get it in there. So yours should look a little bit like this from the top. And don't worry too much, we're going to add more stuff in. So grab your stuffing, your toy stuffing, and just start filling the outer edges. So as we're stuffing around the edges of the rice, we're going to keep turning it over to shape it a bit better and to make sure we've got no gaps. So keep doing that and I'll meet you when we're done. Once we've stuffed the head, we're going to start decreasing again. So we're going to decrease in the first two, and then one single crochet in each of the next two. The next round is again a decrease round, so we're going to decrease in the first two and then put one single crochet in the next stitch and then decrease in the next two and one single crochet in the next stitch and continue that all the way around until you get to the beginning. Once you've finished that round, you should have a total of 12 stitches left. So we're going to slip stitch to the next and then chain one and fasten off. Now make sure you leave a long enough tail so that we can sew that hole closed at the end. We're then going to add a little bit of stuffing into the bottom of the head to make sure it's nice and padded at the bottom because the last thing we need is the rice coming out from the bottom of it. Now simply do a whip stitch all the way around the circle and pull it tight to secure. 
Now making the nose, we make a magic ring, just as we did before. Chain up one, and put six single crochets into that ring. do an increase round so two single crochets in each stitch around One single crochet in each stitch around, that's 12 single crochets in each round for three rounds. So three rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. to make three decreases over the next six stitches so decrease the first two and decrease the next two decrease the next two and then we're going to start stuffing the nose Once we've stuffed the nose, we're going to make three more decreases over the next six stitches and then we're going to slip stitch to the next and fasten off, leaving a long tail so that we can sew it to the head. So you can now decide where you want to sew it to the head. You can have it quite high up, or you can have it lower down, or right in the middle. It's completely up to you. I'm going to pop mine here, and then just simply sew it on using your darning needle. Once it's done, it should look a little something like this. Now let's make some ears. Again, we're going to start by making a magic ring. We then chain one and pop six single crochets into that magic ring. going to increase in every stitch so two single crochets in each stitch around which gives you 12 single crochets and for the next round we're going to increase again so two single crochets in the first one in the next repeat around until you have 18 single crochets We're now going to continue by doing one single crochet in each stitch round for five rounds. Once 
once you've finished you should have something that looks like this and we're going to just slip stitch to the next stitch chain one and fasten off leaving a long tail we're then going to flatten our work just like this and add our darning needle onto the tail end of the arm We then want to fold our work in half, so the corners meet. And then using a whip stitch, we're going to sew the bottom halves together. Now you've done that, that's the year complete, and you want to make two of those. Now just find the perfect place on your head as to where you want your ears to go. They can be higher up or lower down, but you want to make sure that they're in line with your glasses. And the last thing to do is to sew your ears onto the head and then you will be complete. We now have one ear done. I'm going to complete the other ear off camera and I'll show you in some photos what he looks like at the end. There you go guys, a cute little glasses holder. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and drop a comment below and show me all your makes. I'd love to see them on your socials as well so make sure to tag me and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care, bye for now.